Hello traders, this is Dez here at Grok Trade on Thursday, August 16th, 2012. The S&P 500 has skyrocketed, leaping to its highest level since the very beginning of April. Mm. And we are seeing a nice little pop here. Check this out. We come up high base, boom, to the upside. Nice little pop here, breaking up over this red line that I thought would act as resistance. We actually started the day off a little bearish because we came down below this lower trend line, but we just went screaming. Matter of fact, we do have volume confirming this move. Not too shabby. And we're stopping at some resistance levels. And these levels that you see right here are those levels going back to the spring. So you can see this 1416 is the next area, 1419 and 1422. Mark those down on your charts because they are important. But check this out Dow up 85 points, up 0.65%. The SP up 0.7%. We have NASDAQ up more than 1%. Same for the Russells here. Again, we saw that the NASDAQ and Russells leading the charge yesterday, and it threw us to a very nice end of today and the banks up a half a percent the vix down 2.3 percent gangs <laughs> we are down here at 14.3 i know for a lot of you that doesn't mean anything but that is huge massive gold up 0.6 percent silver up 1.5 percent crude oil up more than one percent commodities did exceptionally well today u.s dollar down 0.35 percent Take a look here at the Dow Daily. Dow Daily, we were in trouble, boom. But check this out, on this move, and you know, I'm actually gonna take this there now. Look at this, we closed right at a resistance point. So as far as the Dow 30 is concerned, we are at a resistance trend line. Here we are taking a look at the NASDAQ technicals. Boom, nice pop, breaking a resistance level. and. I would say there's another one about right there. Oop, we're still below that one, it looks like. So 30.69 and a half is going to be a resistance area. So not, not too bad here. Russell's is the big winner, gang. Russell's breaking a major trend line coming down. And we do have some resistance coming up there, but it's, we got a ways to go. But this is a major pop here. Let's take a look at the VIX. I want this to? I want you guys to really see this. If I go to the VIX, I'm going to go to a monthly chart. This is a monthly. This is 2008. So back here, the last time we were here was 2007, middle of 2007. So I'm talking one, two, three, four, and five years ago. It's been since we've been down here at these lows. Five year low, gang. So that is really, really low. When the VIX is low, it's time to go. It's the axiom in the markets. When the VIX is high, it's time to buy. Anyway, so that's something we're watching very closely here in the markets. We have room for one more mentor student for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Take care, safe trading, and watch the end of this video for sure.